In 2010, I had a big year. I made a garden chair for my final year project and managed to graduate Leeds University. <laughs> I worked out I didn't want to be a labourer for much more than a summer holiday. And I also nipped to France for a six-month ski season. In 2010, I also met Charlie for the first time. Something happened that day, I skied past you. I don't know what, because you were wearing goggles, ski gear, a helmet. But I just knew I had to meet you. You're my favourite thing about life. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. Thank you for saying I do. To Charlie. J, JT, Jack Tat, Tatters, The Chin. Your mind is brilliant, your wit is fast, your advice is always sound, and your honesty is, is unwavering. And I am so, so proud to be your best mate and your best man. You come here from nearby and from far away, to share in this commitment they're going to make to one another. To offer your love and support to their union and to allow Charlie and Jack to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and closest to them. All right, tissues everyone. Here comes the sad bit. Charlie, I truly believe we are made for each other. You make me a better person. You inspire me to achieve more and you emboldened me to succeed. Until we met on the 15th of February 2011, we were two people on our two separate journeys. Now, we are still on those separate journeys. We are traveling on them together as a partnership, and as a team. You're my favorite, and now we'll get to keep you, you and me. Jack, I often feel like we live in a little bubble together just you and me, and nothing or no one else in the world matters. These are the moments I love the most. I miss you when I'm not with you, and get butterflies in my tummy when I'm about to see you. I know I'm not perfect, but I love that you treat me like I am. I love you, always and forever, you and me. Phone parties in Spain, beer in Croatia, and fun in Vegas all helped to seal the deal. Jack asked my permission to ask Charlie to marry him. I knew he was going to, but nothing straightforward. We had to keep it quiet for five months. Five months! by the power of your love and your commitment to each other and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jack, you came into my life and completely changed it. It means so much to me standing here as your wife. You're my favorite man in the world, the love of my life, my best friend, and now my husband. <laughs> The last seven years have been full of fun, memories, traveling and supporting each other as we've progressed through our careers. I couldn't have done any of this without you by my side. I feel like the luckiest girl today and every day and I know that we're going to have an amazing life together.